to be a little shaky for me. It also looks like you're going to see every time somebody comes online. So that's cool. Unless I just go here. Right. And, uh, go here and here we go. I shouldn't get any notifications. And we should be fine. In theory. In theory. Everything's in theory. Anyway, once again, as usual, I end up missing the fucking first pistol. What's new? Uh, UP picked it up, but they're gonna go ahead and buy the max on the on the force run. I'm not entirely sure. We got the bomb plant. Kevin's starting it off with the mag seven frag. Make that two onto Seabass and Sanzo up towards Banana. Beta Nix finally finding a trade, and that's gonna be under the form of Speedy's head. It's three against four. Health low on Kevin, but he's towards Banana. There's only two on this A bomb site right now as UP look to try and take it. They have a little bit of utility still to their disposal, that being two Molotovs and a smoke grenade. Special K holding for March. Nice one D. It's Tommy picking up the frag on a Beta Nix. It's down to, to Alpha Nix in the one versus four. Let's see if he can start this game off strong. No frags thus far in this round. Did pick up one last round, but he ended up missing it. Dinks Irma Girdle. Yeah, he's going to be taken down by It's Tommy from behind. It's one-to-one, -one, and CNX Thursday is going to tie it up. It looks like we're going to get a timeout, uh, and I'd love to use this timeout to restart my PC, but that's just not going to happen. Oh, my God. Now you can see literally everything, and it's annoying me. Now I got to go here, right? This off. Okay. Everything's messing up. Everything is messing up. I'm just gonna go offline at all, so I don't even see when people come on. Well, uh, hopefully these technical difficulties won't persist into tomorrow's stream on my channel, because that will be annoying. And, uh, damn near impossible to work with it. So, I'll have to figure that out. Not entirely sure what's going on. But, timeout's gonna get cancelled. We already see Beta Nick started off with a good little buy along with his teammate Seabass. Looks like we're gonna force up into this. We have Alpha Nick picking up the MAC 10. We have Y and CJ picking up the Deagle and Sanzo ending it off with the PT 50. Every single terrorist has armor. Two of them have head armor. That's gonna be Sanzo and Beta Nick's. Uh, Looks like we're still going pretty much the same buy for the CT side, except the people who died decided to rebuy in for Um, all five towards alt. We see them pretty much bum rushing it. Only two players you can test against that. That's special day and speedy. But their alt seems to be doing fairly well as it's three against three. They're going to be able to get some guns to their usage as well. So, this round is about to get a whole lot closer than we thought. One of these players doesn't have a kit either, so that could potentially come into play. Sanzo. Heading towards Graveyard with that Galil. All of these players look to come towards Moto. The same angle. Irma Girdle in to get tagged down. Taken down, rather, with CJ Steagle. Sanzo puts it in the one versus three. It's Tommy now left alone with the UMP and nothing else. Picks up the frag on a Sanzo, but taken down to 6 HP. Well, I don't know if that's... Yeah, he's not going to be able to do much off of that. It's 1 to 2 UP. Trading rounds back and forth, but see you next Thursday. And, uh... Looks like they're going to be able to buy up into this round. If they, Well, they could choose to buy up into this round. Choice words there, Anthran. Special K has 4.3K, so he could end up buying an M4. And I think they're going to go with the same buy that they pretty much went with last time. Unless, no. Special just dropped some deagles. All right. Kevin. With his infamous Mag 7, a Molotov and a Flash to give it to each control of car. Sanzo now going straight up middle, trying to take the frag out of special case. Successfully does so. Four against five in the favor of UP. Seabass and Sanzo getting ready to try an onslaught towards lane. It's Tommy. Gonna fall victim to that UMP. Speedy W sitting so damn close with that. The Eagle makes him pay for it. Almost picks up a second as well. But other than that, it's just frags in the way of Undesired Prophecy. It's Keevan and the one versus four. Max seven in hand. So they might not want to overaggress and push him here. Here's Alpha Nix coming in from behind. Gonna take him down. Get himself 900 bucks in the pocket. Not too shabby. P2K swings towards Arch. Oh, and the timing. Catches Seabass. Oh, he seems to know, though. He looks to his left. He might be able to take Seabass down. Oh, he's getting him fairly low with that max. Having a headshot, and he's getting closer. That's Seabass falling victim as well. 
One player is 12 HP, so he's not going to end up going for this, but CJ is going to just save his AK-47. It's UP up 3-1 to one on the T side of Inferno. Good round from UP, but a good round from CU next Thursday to make it semi-close. But, I mean, I wonder if... If Speedy W picks up that Mac 10 frag, do you think that it could be a lot? Do you think that CNX Thursday could potentially pick up that round? I feel like they could. But we're not gonna look at the what ifs because we don't need to. It is three to one as we look to kick off this first almost full rifle round from both teams. Only players without rifles are Sanzo and it's Tommy, both with SMGs in their own respective, respectively. Sanzo trying to make sure bedroom's clear. Pretty much gains that control for his team. And uh, CT's getting a little chill towards apps. I, what the hell did I just hit? I just hit alt and I have no idea what happened. CJ though, taking first contact towards lane tag. Special K down to 46. He will not be able to escape, or I say that he will. Comes back around and Special K makes him pay. One versus, or four versus five. Two versus four on this bomb site though. Jay running through that Molotov to take down its Tommy, but we still have Speedy sitting fairly close here with the FAMAS. And I can guarantee you he's going to be able to pick up at least one frag. We have one player coming in from Brown Halls. That's going to be Beta Nix. He's going to be the first to fall victim. Has a grenade out. Seabass trading it out, though. There's a CT rotated out of the site. That's going to be Keevan. He can only do one, and CJ picks up three. What a play from the man, CJ. He picks up a sixth of the game. Quick look at the frag charts. We have at the top, Seabass and CJ both tied with six frags, but CJ with the least stats at two. And at the bottom, we have Beta Nix, two and four. At the top for see you next Thursday, we have Speedy W, six and five. Bottom, Irma Girdle going 0 and four. Looks to be another potential save round for the CT side. I guess you could call it a half buy or a pistol buy, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to get underway into it. Speedy W. Best weapon for the CT side with the MP9. Everybody else just kind of has those pistols, two P250s and two Deagles. Sanzo starts it up on the track on his, or on his special, but I see that, and Speedy goes down as well. It's Tommy trying to bring it back a tiny bit. Deagle doing some work here. Seabass better be careful, and that's exactly why. He's going to give Tommy a free AK-47 for his troubles. It's two against four, and the bomb as well. Teammate on mid site can now swing around from lane. It's Tommy hiding behind this smoke. Can't do anything with it. It's one versus three. Keevan is going to be able to give himself an AK. But as he picks it up, he gives away his position so they know exactly where he is. They know he has that AK, and they know that he's trying to save it. Alphanix falls victim to it. It's two versus one, and Keevan. I wonder, is he going to try and save this? What's going on, Amplify? I'd assume he's going to try and save it, but we have one of these T's that's going to be the likes of CJ. Fairly close in towards Speedway. See Keevan hiding in Graveyard. CJ kind of still sneaks around on CT spawn. Now has Beta next to back him up, but I think that's going to be it. It's just going to be the save call now from both of these T's. They're going to run through CT. But uh, I don't think they're going to run anywhere near Kevin. It's 1-5 to five, UP. Seemingly figuring it out after that uh, after that failed uh, forced buy in the second round. Well, we're gonna see an absolute full rifle round. I believe this is the first of the game where every player has had a rifle. Special K with that saved AK that he even got everybody else with an M4 and uh, Tommy with the AWP. But on the T side, we have three, four AKs and one at Krieg. They're all looking to take towards Banana, it seems, as we have four or five terrorists here. Alpha Nick starts it off with a frag on a Special K. Only gets tagged down to 48 as well. That's a phenomenal job from him to open up the round. Two players on this B bomb site as one rotates over from CT spawn. That's going to be the likes of it's Tommy with the AWP flashes in the car. He's with their own flash towards car and their own little execute. Nix takes down a second, gets traded out. The all picking up two in Sanzo. Picking up Tommy, and it's two against three. CT's in a retake situation. Irma Girdle and Speedy W. 
Hermagirdle seems to have spotted one towards the steps of the site that will not be able to pick up the frag. Seabass hiding behind the fountain will be able to get the bomb plant down. They are going to attempt the retake here. But, as I say that, it's Speedy W in the one versus three. Sanzo scoping in on him with the AWP, but Alphanix holding the angle. Not Alphanix, Beta Nix. And he's going to pick up his fourth. It's six to one, UP. So, uh, what's going on with the frag chart? CJ and Sanzo are still duking it out at the top. And I believe this is going to be a timeout from See You Next Thursday as they uh, already have Keevan buying that Mag 7. Well, we're going to get right back into the game. Timeout expires. It is another save round for CU next Thursday, who aren't doing too hot. They have a max 7, three Deagles, and a P250. Two players towards B, three towards A. Seems to be a default setup for them on this save round. That grenade isn't going to do much, tagging Special K down to 93 HP. If one player actually make that two and F. Sanzo down Speedy, turns around, spots out Irma Girdle, who actually took down Baden, but seems to not be aware of Sanzo, who's pushed into apps. It's Tommy now going to take the fight towards Sanzo. Sanzo down to 4 HP and gets, or he's going to fall as well. Tommy, Deagle in hands, almost picks up another. It's two versus two. Special K has armor as well, and he's coming in from Arch. Beta Nix, oh my god, I keep messing him up. Alpha Nix seems to be aware of what's going on, and it's down to Keevan, one versus two with that Max 7. Picked up two last time he was put into a clutch situation, but uh, I don't know. Might seem to be a little bit of a tall task, because uh, I think he's going to push through this smoke. Neither player is going to be able to capitalize off of the push smoke, off of the smoke push. What the hell? But Seabass is going to take the head straight off of him. It's 7 to 1. UP, not making any mistakes. Thank you for the follow. I don't know why that didn't show up. It should have showed up to be honest with you, but uh, we are wasting a lot of time out early in this game, aren't we? They are definitely talking stuff over on the C side or on the CT side. They uh, they even have a coach. Why is it that the IM teams with a coach seem to suck balls? Still, uh, still on that timeout, apparently, so it's gonna, it's gonna be a minute. It's kind of making my life difficult, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, uh, I gotta do a lot of editing after this game. Amplify, if you're still there and listening, I plan on getting most of, if not all of the editing done tonight. I also didn't, did you want me to highlight PRS? I can't remember. We're going to get back into the game. It's about damn time. Still another buy round. Both teams seemingly had enough economy to, well, I should say see you next Thursday, seemingly had enough economy to buy up. Uh, but they're not going to have it for very much longer. Because uh, most uh, most money on the see you next Thursday players is $900. A couple people have zero. A couple people have 100 Not uh, Not the best situation for them. And I think that smoke just missed as well. Sanzo. Don't know why we're still looking at Keevan because I didn't put auto director back on. Sanzo picking up the first frag into Irma Girdle. And it's four against five. Tommy with the AWP. Trey's back onto Sanzo. Four against four. I just realized Irma Girdle was one of the oppers, so Tommy is the only op left on this ET side. 
about to see them next Thursday. Alright. Heaven. Frags on the CJ. It's three against four. One of these players fairly low, but Special K is there to trade it with him. Oh, wait, Alphanix. He just snuck in his CT spawn, and he's going to catch Special K off guard. The last person on this B bomb site is Keevan. Down to 18 HP. Tommy, though, in CT. Oh, he's not going to be taken care of, and Alphanix needs to find an answer for him very, very soon because the bomb is kind of in open way for him, but smoke comes out. Gives him free access to plant, and he knows that one's going to be coming from Banana. Oh, made it, Vix! Oh, was a little scary there. Oh, wait, it's Tommy. Through the smoke. Takes down out. Takes down Beta Nix. It was the Nix brothers left, but it's going to be nobody left as Speedy picks up the round. Second round for See You Next Thursday. And uh, they kind of needed that, but I don't know. If a, I don't think a couple of their players can buy still. With only one player saving, they're going to be able to get that off back to Tommy. Special K might be able to buy a rifle. He will. Okay, maybe I was dead wrong. <laughs> So they got 3,500 for that, bam. Armageddon can 100% not buy, so that's an issue. Well, no, he can get it from us. And that's what he's going to do. It's 2-7, to seven, and now Ethan still, after winning that round, their economy can still be in shambles after one round. Good flash up towards top mid from UP to blind the upper bay to Nyx. Alpha Nyx, god damn it, tagged on to 54 HP. Flash towards cars. The T's look to gain control of it. All five T's going towards banana here. So this three-man A-hold is going to do little to nothing. Special K boosting up his teammate, Keevan. Smokes off the push. No CT's rotating in just yet. T's getting ready to execute onto this bomb site. Some smokes, some flashes. No mollies, though. I'm kind of surprised at that one. I thought the least molly on new box. Even that's a one and done spot that he just took. Special K spraying through the smoke, tagging down a couple of these T's, but not going to be able to pick any frags. But takes down Santa as he jumps above it. Doubles up on a beta Nix, and uh, Seabass trades him out. Three against two. Tommy. Nice shot coming in from CT spawn. I think he's going to take down Seabass as well. Wait, what? Oh, wait. He will take down Seabass, but it took him a second to find him. It's three to seven. And uh, looks like it was a better situation for the CTs this time. They will be able to easily buy an extra round. Another $3,500 in their bank. down to UP, or it's UP down to a save round once again. It's actually, what, the second time? Grenade does almost 100 damage. Ooh, speedy and Irma Girdle. Doing some work. Sanzo and Nick's finally trading it out, but can they pick up any more? They can. It's actually a really good eco thus far from Undesired Prophecy. It's one versus two. He has the CZ-75 on only 12 bullets, but he has armor. If he can recover a gun, then he can make this... He can make life hell for the CTs. Special K... Wait, Keevan. He's aware of the fact that he could go out. Or arch, and he, uh... He does. So, yeah, that's cool. UP back onto a buy round. They're up 7-4, to four, but they need to stop the stop the momentum that the CTs have gained thus far, or else uh, the seven rounds might not look too good in hindsight. Grenade, deep down banana. This time doesn't connect for anywhere near as much damage as the early round nades have been doing. Tommy, still towards Arch. Let's see if they can find an answer for him. Still towards top mid stops, then what delays them momentarily, I should say. CJ and Beta Nix towards Banana Alpha Nix, I swear to God. Sanzo towards apps, taking brown hulls. It's Tommy, mollying Boiler. And Speedy looks to be on the trade with C or with his teammate, but Seabass on a 53 HP. There's those early round nades that you do not want to see if you're Undesired Prophecy. It's still 5-5. Five to five. One minute left in the round, so they need to start moving fairly soon. Oh, 
not much going on, but it looks like the T's are going to go towards this A-bomb site. Yeah, now they're going to be all five instead of four, so. No lurkers towards B, all five towards A. That grenade just keeps on hammering damage into this T side. And it looks like they're going to execute. Two players speaking towards lane. I believe they're going to take the early contact towards the A-bomb site. They will. Sounds out picking up one. But straight comes up to Tommy. Almost picks up a second. Does pick up a second. It's three against three. They still haven't found an answer for that AWP. Spraying through the smoke won't connect for very much. Thankfully, no grenades on this CT side. Or else a couple of these are Seabass, I should say. Could have been shaken in his boots. Is that a flash? That was a smoke. Oh, what a smoke. Molotov towards Pit. CJ holding towards Boiler. Th all three players looking to go towards the same spot. Moto, that being. And uh, Seabass picks up one. Takes some damage on towards its Tommy. It's two against two, but CJ... Oh, there's no way they're going to expect it. But he gives away his position. They don't seem to have find him yet. Oh my god, Tommy! And he's going to pick it up. And a round that looked so unlikely turns in the favor of see you next Thursday. That round should have been all day, every day, going towards Undesired Prophecy, especially with CJ. Not even, they weren't even looking at him as he was coming up towards lane. And that's just a misplay from him there. You need to, that's, that's just a whiff, boys. Well, they're finally changing up the default. Three players towards Banana because the C's have constantly taking banana on the save rounds, but they find an answer for it's Tommy so damn early. Even getting traded out, it's three against two. UP answering back, finally giving themselves the man advantage and taking out of the B bomb site. Two players in towards CT spawn, Speedy and Irma Girdle. We've seen them in these clutch situations so many times, but let's see if the T's can finally thwart it. CJ, first person to take contact. Tippy on Irma Girdle. Almost doubles up on his Speedy, but Speedy gets the better of him. That's one against two. Next with the op towards Emo and Seabass towards Banana with the MAC-10. He's going to tell him to turn around. They know exactly where he is. He has a Molotov as well, so Seabass could just molly him up. Oh, wait a second. Seabass put into the one versus one. Pushing up. He's just going to stick the defuse. Picked up with the smoke, and Seabass finally gives UP another round, stopping the momentum right in its tracks. It's five to eight, and they keep their lead going. And now, see you next Thursday. Tides have turned. Straight back to a pistol round for them. And T's, they're just trying to look and run away with a couple of rounds. But, I don't know. See you next Thursday. Haven't been too, uh, too eager to give them up this that easily. Irma Girdle tagged on the 23 HP. Sanzo with the smoke towards Arch. Three players on A, two on B. So the spread is fairly even. It's Tommy. Gives the man advantage to see you next Thursday. The AK hasn't been recovered. Sanzo just holding it. Takes the frag on it. It's Tommy. He seems to be aware of the possibility of another. Peeks in towards Brown Halls and stops him from even getting it. Throws the AK out of the map too. Smart play. Heads up play rather from Sanzo. But uh, ooh, USB shot from center site. Seabass is going to come up and try and help his teammate. He does successfully take him down. It's one against four for Kevin. Peeks towards Banana with the P2K. Tag on the 6 HP and Seabass won't let him get anything more. It's five to nine. Early nades towards bedroom. Two players on B. That grenade. Beta Nix down to 64 HP. It's Tommy down to 48 though, so it's kind of even. I say that, but Sanzo goes down to 66 as well. But now it's Tommy down to 22. Almost a first frag for this T side. CT's now being a little more careful. Tommy backing off, saving his M4 so he doesn't die with it. And it's going to be a full B execute. Since the T, or as the CTs were cowering, the T's took their chance to go towards B. Special K picking up one, getting created out towards CT. It's a man advantage for CT next Thursday. Two against three. CTs 
Ortiz rather looking to come back into this round. Danzo and Seabash doing all the work needed. It's one against two, and Speedy coming in for Banana. Ah, oh, they're not going to expect this. They're not going to expect this. Seabash with a missed off shot. Speedy tries to capitalize, and Seabash with the 3K gives UP the round. And it's 10 to 5 UP. Since we're on display capture, let's, uh, let's go take a quick look at the frag chart, shall we? Alrighty, boys, here's your frag chart. At the top for the CT side, we have It's Tommy going 20 and 12. Bottom is going to be Special K, not Special K, Irma Girdle 4 and 13. Top of this TT or top of Undesired Prophecy, we have Seabass 17 and 11, and at the bottom, unfortunately, is Beta Nick 6 and 13. Early smoke towards top mid. It's going to be a 3 2 setup or a 4 2 or 4 1 setup, rather, but uh, they seem to have the C's red. Because all of them look to go towards this A bomb site, especially with the bomb on their backs. CJ starts it off, bragging on the special. Okay, there's two CTs in pit. Can they do the work? There's a question. So Miss Josh is going to make it pay. Oh, wait. They didn't expect Betanix. But Betanix is whipping. And the whips come in, and the clock kicks at the frag. It's three against four. And that is Betanix. Man, what's into you? What has gotten into you, man? Alphanix can't pick up anything either. It's two against four. And CJ goes down as well. It's left to Sanzo, and he's not going to be able to do anything either. It's 10 to 6. And I right now, Beta Nix is 100% kicking himself for that. That is a frag you need to have. They aren't looking at you. Well, it's a full USP round from this CT side. All five towards B. Three players hiding on the corner, one at Sandbags, but I don't think the T's are going to even mess with it. A grenade, miss grenade rather, Yermer Girdle. Flash towards this V-bomb site. Yermer Girdle actually is seemingly going to go up and try and take a fight. I think he's going to back off as soon as his teammates give him the call that this A-bomb site is completely clear. CJ, wait a second. He's going to flash them into Banana. They could potentially have this frag. That flash coming out. Good timing from it. The USP is getting ready to come down on him like a shark attack. Urban Girdle doing the best he can. Picking up one, two, and a third. Kills out the USP. Four Earth almost picks up the ace, but Seabass finally trades. Gives himself a Galil, and now he hides in the corner. Hoping that he can get a couple of fracks. Keaton going to be first to peak, but he can't be taken down. It's a seventh round for CU next Thursday. CT is finally on the rifles. All five have M4s. Little utility, eh, not that bad, but could be better. Some Molotovs towards Banana. Don't want to let these T's have car or Banana Control that easily. And now a smoke towards top middle. Stop the T's from pushing thus far. And CJ starts it off with Dragon on Irma Girdle. It's Tommy trying to look to pick up a trade. The grenade, though. Won't catch anybody as CJ is already long gone. 54 HP, but still breathing. Keevan trades on to Betanix. 11 HP for him. Seabass looking to trade. It will successfully do so. Speedy W shows himself towards lane and almost pays for it. It's a three against four. Two players on this A bomb site to hold it. They don't have any rotates coming in yet. It's a I believe this is a weapon advantage for the CT side. Wait, never mind. They're going back. They're going back to B, and all CTs have left. It's finally Sanzo realizing that this could come B and turns around. They have a smoke for CT as well, so it's going to get scary. Sanzo needs to pick up something, and he just can't. It's three against three. And these are must-hit shots for UP. They're going to be on the three against three retake. They don't have much utility to help them with it as well. 
At least they're gonna be able to smoke off banana, but it doesn't really matter as all three T's are towards the bomb site. Next starts it off, ragging on to Tommy. Speedy gonna go down as well, or at least I thought it's one against one. Seabass knows that the last player is Tex Fast. Special K down at 36. USP coming out because he doesn't have that many bullets left in the M4. Can he hit the shot? He can Seabass! USP had shot 11th round for Undesired Prophecy, and they're finally gonna pick up their first CT side round, and it's 11 to 7. Oh, we are in another timeout. Oh, my God. How many timeouts have we had thus far? Like, goddamn. Each team only gets four timeouts, and I'm pretty sure we've already seen four, so... Either both teams have used half their, time half their timeouts or out. Team's out. Grenade towards top banana. T's with a weapon advantage as they look to quickly take towards B. That grenade doing a good amount of damage. The Molotov towards Sandbags isolating CJ. He's not going to get caught off by it. He might be able to hide in the corner, but he's not going to execute the for very long. Tagged out of 25 HP is Special K. And they have pretty much full control of this B bomb site. The only player left to contest it is Sanzo. Still one player towards A. That's Keevan. Gets traded out. But Sanzo is the man to watch as he has to do something big towards this B bomb site. Wait, never mind. They're going back. Sanzo picking up the frag on it. It's Tommy, but these CTs seem to be aware of what's happening. Or I say that, and Seabass pushes through the smoke to his own demise. It's two against three. Make that two against two, and one against two is Beta Nix. Not God damn it. Alpha Nix. One against two. Irma Girdle, last person alive for this T side. He's going to look to go straight towards Pit. Alpha Nix waiting for his teammate to come in for March. He wants to. Wants to see if he can get a little bit of a crossfire on this last player. It's Sanzo hiding in towards Modo. We now have Alpha Nix coming up lane. I don't know if they're going to peak four or peak pit. Did you think they would? It's Sanzo in the one versus one. It's planted for pit. No, it's not. It actually, he could stick it if he really, really wanted to. But Irma Girdle's just going to hide. There's no time left for Sanzo. And it's see you next Thursday. Trading the round right back out. Sanzo at least picks up the frag. But is it going to be able to survive? It's 11 to 9. 11 to 8. Undesired Prophecy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're gonna miss it. We're 100% gonna miss it, which is so unfortunate. I forgot to get it up. I forgot to get it up. We missed it, and it's all my fault. It's all my fault, too. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Gotta, gotta get that ready. See, everything was fine until I had to restart the stream. Everything was ready to go. None of us were, was it, none of us wasn't working. Everything was fine. Molly down banana. CTs with a three-man hold towards are switching it up a little bit, but it doesn't seem to be working. The special K picks up two and picks up three. And see you next Thursday. Looking to bring this a lot closer as it's currently 10, or it's gonna currently look to be 11 to 10. CT's saving their weapons. They're definitely not gonna go for this. But, uh, the T's, they have a good amount of money in the bank, so they could hunt with a couple of these players. Speedy, first frag on the Alpha Nix. It's one against five. Beta Nix trying so desperately to hold on to this M4 rifle.
It's gonna get real scary here for you soon here, buddy. T's scouring the map so desperately they want to take this rifle out of his hands. It's Tommy. Oh, I thought he was gonna run up middle. He actually might run up middle. Beta Nix takes it down. It's one against four. But his position is given away. Is he going to be able to save? I'm not sure. Oh, he's getting cornered. He's getting trapped. Picks up one, two, but will not be able to pick up any more. And it's 11 to 10 and no rifles saved. See you next Thursday. Bring it back. They are one round from tying it up and UP need to take a save. They're gonna look to nade down banana. Oh my god, it might pay off. It's gonna pay off so well. So much damage! Early grenade bill coming in, make that two. Only two frags though. I thought it would amount to a lot more, but they know where all CTs were, and they're gonna head straight towards this A bomb site. It's CJ left in the one versus three. I thought that round was gonna be a lot closer. Whew. Don't scare me like that, UP. CJ recovers a Krieg, and I think he's just gonna save it. It's gonna be 11 to 11 and tie game. See you next Thursday, tying it for the first time in 21 rounds. So no, sorry, sorry, 19 rounds. So about a half hour ago, they were uh, they were tied, believe it or not. Just shows you how fast time flies by when you're when you're doing something fun, you know. I uh, the game started at 9:30, right? Technically, like 9:40. It's been 40 minutes. Right? And it's felt like five. Time flies when you're doing something fun. And it's great. I love working. I love doing this. I love the fact that this is technically my job and I get paid to do it. It's great. UP finally bringing some ops into the mix. If C Bass with one and Sands out with another, it's a double op setup. Two M4s that saved Krieg on CJ. And on the T side, we have two Krieg's and three AKs. Utility not gonna be a problem for either side. Couple of grenades down banana. There's three players here. They're gonna catch the brunt of it. So much damage coming in. Sanzo through the wall into special K. The Motley towards car. It's an early five versus three. UP changing stuff up and doing it right. Beta Nix tagged it down to 27. Sanzo down to 41. But still, that man advantage seemingly way too strong. Three players on A, two on B. We're still actually watching CJ. I feel like we would have seen something different. If I uh, wasn't that stupid. Seabass. Oh, I thought they were going to peek straight into his angle, but they're going to look to go back towards this B-bomb site. But Sanzo's holding strong with the AWP towards Coffins, along with CJ's Krieg and CT spawn. Now what... Can the CTs do to hold off this push? They have an okay amount of utility. And actually, no, they don't. I'm looking at the wrong players. They do not have, like, any utility. CJ, the only player with anything, and that's going to be a smoke. Sanjay with the missed off shot, and they can push straight through down to this bomb site. It's three against two on this bomb site, but nobody's here. They pretty much have full control of it. Sanzo. Oh, is he going to shoot through the coffins? No, he was. <laughs> Turns around and picks up the frag on a Sanzo, and just like that, man, advantage is gone. It's two against five, or two against three. And UP, what happened? Make that one versus three, and Alpha Nix left alone, and he's gonna have to forfeit the round. It's 11 to 12. What went wrong? You're about to start seeing a, a noise. You're gonna, you're gonna find out why they call me a tech dog limp fairly soon. Why in God's green earth, God's goddamn name, did it, is it one against three? It was five versus three. Five versus three. Two players were low. CTs, man. Their season is on the line. They need to win out. If they can't win it here, what does it say for the future? 
couple of digs to scout and still that M4 on Alphanix. Alphanix, though, needs to do something with it. It's gonna be fourth bedroom. Pick up one frag, pick up two, and there you go. That's what you need, but you need to build off of it. It's Tommy holding from middle. Wide in the open with this AWP. CJ getting traded out by Speedy's Krieg. Now it's Tommy. Gonna fall victim as well. CTs have the bomb, and it's three against, not three against, it's two against four. Oh my god, speak, Anthran, speak. Make that 2v3 as Speedy picks up the frag on the Beta Nix. Alpha Nix, though, still the man to watch. Speedy down to 60. Make that 59, actually. He's gonna pee. And so is Alpha Nix. It's one versus three. Alpha Nix onto the ace. And we've caught just about all of it. Oh, special K. What's he gonna do here? Hiding in the open. And alt mid, the smoke comes out. Giving himself a little bit of security. He's just gonna hide behind this door. I should say next to the door. We have Beta Nix. God damn it! Alpha Nix! How many times am I gonna mess this up before I learn it? Alpha Nix going on the bridge. Thinks that he already left, though. I wanna see him do the ace. I really wanna see it. But uh, now we have Special K going towards apps. There's no way Alpha Nix is going to expect this. And now we're going to turn Auto Director back on because they're pretty much on opposite sides of the map. The only player here is going to be Seabass with that scout. And I don't think he's going to be able to do anything. Special K has the bomb on his back and he's going to have an open A bomb site in a second here if he moves out. Oh, wait, never mind. They realize it. They know. They know exactly where he is. And Alpha Nix wants it. You could tell he wants that ace. He's running knife out. Seven seconds left. Seabass letting him plant, but running onto the site, taking him down, and it's tied back up 12 to 12. We saw it happen. We saw it see you next Thursday. Tie it up. MMUP ran away with it. So let's see if they can do that again. The economy is not going to be broken anytime soon for this T side. Irma Girdle has 14K starting into this round. Keevan needs a buy, so that might go down a little bit. It will go down a little bit, but uh, they they still got a couple buys left in them for this T side. They got at least two or three buys, so money is not going to be an issue. Tommy with the grenade up towards top middle. Almost got to see Bass, but he wisely runs the other way. It's two players towards Banana. The grenade's doing so much damage. 38 health on Speedy. And the only trade back is CJ on the 80. The grenade, though, on the corner. It's going to do a lot of damage. And so is Special K, but he's down to 10 HP. Grenade towards Sandbags. CJ doubling up. It's three against four. Molotov coming out towards Sandbags. CJ still hiding in the corner. He even picks up the frag on a beta nix. And doubles up on the Alpha as well. And, man, they just... Oh, my. Yeesh. Nobody is on this A bomb site for this T side. C T side make that even though may have taken one too many steps. And he's down to five HP so C bass. He's aware. Sees his gun barrel as well, and Keevan's gonna go down. It's two against two. There's a chance. Irma Girdle heading towards the ring gun. He needs C bass needs to wait for CJ to come up banana. He does not he does not have the firepower by himself to win this round. And it's Tommy. But he's so damn close. Almost gets taken down. And CJ just turns around. What are you doing, CJ? That's a winnable round. It's going to be 13 to 12. And CTs, it was seeming like as soon as they figured it out, they just let it all go. They still got some fight left in them. They'll hopefully have enough for another buy into this game, even if they lose this round couple of grenades hopefully going down towards banana it could be so massive special k down to 28 it's five against five and the cts need this round three players towards banana two looking towards the a side of the map two those both players are going to be in apps players on this a bomb are beta alpha and c bats couple of smokes coming out towards b 
But can the CTs hold it? They haven't had much success holding it in the past. Sanzo, probably going to be the first person to take contact here. They need to rotate soon. But the T's backing away from Banana. A little bit of breathing room for Undesired Prophecy now. And I see that and they come straight back up. Bomb. On the back of it's Tommy. No AWPs for this T side. So they're not really going to have to worry about that on the back of Tommy. So, uh. It's going to be an all all out firefight. Sanzo with a rare miss. Picks up the second, though, on the special K. Still keeps bragging. Or no, he doesn't. But it's a whole. It is one hell of a hold from Undesired Prophecy. Damn. My terrible casting today and my terrible speech is definitely because I haven't had any caffeine. I'm kind of out and I need to go to the store. Anyway, Irma Girdle is going to peek towards Emo. Sanzo finishes the round and ties it up once again 13 to 13. And Irma Girdle, he's going to have to buy a couple of his teammates here. That economy is not going to last very long. Tommy needs to buy Special K. So, see you next Thursday. Aren't in the best economical situation. They only have one round of loss bonus. So, they might be able... No, they won't be able to get a buy into the next round. This is an all-out buy from see you next Thursday. This is potential map point if they lose this round. Grenade towards Cart. A lot of utility going down banana for the C side. For the C T side, god damn. I won't. I feel like it'd be better if I just turn down my mic and let y'all watch the damn game. Betanix sitting on porch. Keevan, currently the only player in apps, but the T's are looking to take towards this A bomb site as four players are grouped up towards this side of the map. Alphanix might be the first person to take contact towards lane. Picks up one, doubles up, triples up, and Alphanix single handedly giving them the round. Betanix. Up one of his own. It's one versus three for Special K. The grenade, but Beta Nix is too good. 14 to 13, and UP bring it right back into their favor. This is going to have to be a save from See You Next Thursday. Match and map point right here. Looking to get right here. All five players looking to go towards this A bomb site. Sea Bass has so much work to do, and so does Alpha Nix. Picks up one each, respectively. Beta Nix doubles up. It's one versus five for Tommy with the P250 in hand. Sanzo coming into the line. P250 on his Tommy isn't going to be good for anything. And it's UP cleanly picking up the round. T's will be able to get a buy, but not much utility. And here we go, UP. Even if they lose this round, they will have a buy into the next. Looking to end the game right here. T side has some smokes, has some nades. Has a flash bang and a Molotov, but scratch that Molotov. Speedy. Early frag on a sea bass. Make that four against five. Even bum rushing into apps. What's new? Danzo trying to regain some fallen ground towards Banana. Successfully does so. And Alpha Nix keeps the lead going. It's three against four. Sanzo almost picking up the leg shot through the smoke. All three players are towards the A bomb site. Now they're coming back. Speedy seems to know what Sanzo wants to do. But Sanzo, oh, they're never going to expect this. Not in a million years. But they're going back towards the A bomb site. All three players in towards top middle. Tommy, though. Still checking the flank. A smoke towards Banana is going to make them even more cautious. It's a three-on-three -three hold towards the A-bomb site. CJ with the Krieg. First to take contact. Picks up the frag. Picks up two. It's one against three. And it's Tommy. Left with it all to do to keep. See you next Thursday in the game. It's three versus one. Picks up one on to Seabass. But it's still at one against three. Has the bomb in his hand. But it's going to be Beta Nix coming in from behind. And UP pick up the game in the end. Very, very close. But nonetheless, a one game. And I'm going to switch to this to this camera. Uh, phenomenal ending from our boys there. Let's uh, let post-game interview. Might I introduce everybody in the stream to UP's first official post-game interview. I'm your host, Anthrand. Welcome, Sanzo, the IGL for the CSGO team. Okay, now, Sanzo, congratulations on the win, 16-13. Um, 
So I noticed that you guys in the beginning started to run away with it. It was, I believe, 7-1. to one. Um, Then they started to come back. And what was running through your minds as they brought that game closer and closer into the second half? Betanix. I, I did notice a couple of those pauses coming in. So, uh, so uh, okay, give me one second. Speaking of effect issues, <laughs> all right, can you say? I don't know why the stream can't hear you. Um, let me see. Maybe you're a different headphone here for. Uh... Yep, yep, here we go. All right, let me repeat. Uh, Sandro, introduce yourself once again. Hey everybody, how's it going? If you'd like to repeat why you said uh, that game got closer and closer towards the begin uh, middle of the game, you can. Uh, uh, we had tech issues for the entire game, so uh, CJ had no microphone for probably 90% of the rounds, and Nick X had to change mice twice. The game probably would have been a lot more of a, a stomp, or we almost would have sweeped him if we didn't have tech issues. Which Just is a lot of mental error from people being upset that we had to keep and whatnot. So would you say there? I remember there was a round where it was a um, if you recall, it was a f current five against three on your CT side. The round mm -hmm. ended with I, I one of the Knicks saving a weapon in the one versus three. Can you tell me what happened there? Oof, I, I think we had two different five v threes, but uh, I think that was the B take that they had where yep. the kid jumped through the uh, coffin smoke. That was just really unexpected. I ended up tagging him through the coffin when he was planning, and those kids, they just... I hate to break they it to you, like but dummies. unfortunately, uh, on the VOD, it did not happen. I, uh, that you need I didn't tag him? No. Unfortunately, I thought I heard it. Yeah, and no, I don't know. It's just like, those guys play a lot differently than 99% of the teams we play against. All right, well, congratulations on the win once again, Sanzo. And uh, what are your plans going into the next game? What do you uh, What do you think you guys need to work on? Before we wrap this the up. big dub. We just have to, you know, actually fix our equipment. And we'll be okay. You think you'll be okay? So you guys are going to yeah. keep doing what you normally do in practice and keep it going? Oh, of course. Yeah, practice has been going great. All right. Well, thank you for coming in, Sanzo. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the stream. Uh, congratulations. All to right, you brother. Thank you. Thank you.